Welcome everybody, Steve here. Well today I'm building a couple panels for uh, my brother. He's working on the lower parts of the door and it's some rust so that, you know where the curb is. I'm going to show you a picture of that. But he challenged me and he says it can't be done. So now I've got to do it. So he, he had cut these, this is a piece of half inch steel. And he cut this radius, this is the radius that, you know, that it needs. And he tried to band it and it wasn't working and I said, well, you know, you've got to have something on top. And so I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to do it. Just to prove him wrong. So, what we're going to do. So I got this piece of, uh, this is some 3 16 Should be enough to hold down the metal. So what I want to do is we're just I'm just building a, a top plate so when you put the metal down, it's going to hold it into place. So let's see what we can. I'm just going to throw this over the edge so you guys can kind of see what's going on at the same time. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is trace this. Cut that out with a grinder. And I think what we'll do is we'll run a couple holes in here, you know, so we can bolt it up bolt our piece of material, because the material doesn't have to be that wide. We're just going to build a ring here. Um, we're going to use some 18 gauge, and then we'll just use the hammer and uh, see if we can shape that. So, I'll cut this out, get it all smoothed up. Shouldn't take too long. Just so that it's orientated the right way. Just so a guy knows that that's how it goes. So this is one, and that's one. So I'm gonna go about uh, maybe an inch and a quarter around. So I'll have to cut a piece of metal that size. So I want to put a bolt right about here, and one right about there. So I won't be going through the metal, but that's okay. So I'm gonna, I think 5 16 is going to be fine dandy. I'll just cut or drill a couple of those holes and, and we can uh, put this in there, drill into our uh, half inch. And I think we're ready to give it a try.
Okay, now the hole's in the half inch. Thing with drilling holes, you got nothing when you're done. So I'm gonna just, uh, so uh, I wanna have about, well maybe about an inch, and then about a half an inch lift. So if we go about an inch and a half, this all have to be probably trimmed up a little bit, you know, to fit your piece. So I'm just worried about getting the bend. And then we'll come down about an inch and a half. Now, of course, you know, you got a different radius. So this is the important part is the outside because that's going to be kind of where the, where the edge of the half inch is going to be. Because we're moving in, you know, the radius is going to be different, so you got to make sure you got your inch and a half out here, and then you just trim it later. Let's see what we got here. That's pretty close. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay, cut that out. All right, I got this hanging over the edge so I can uh, access my bolt holes here. Got my metal in there, so I just want to make sure I got my half inch overhang everywhere. That's good there. Gonna come in a bit over here. That's half an inch there. A little bit in. I said you're gonna you're gonna tune this up anyway. I think the next time what I'll do is half an inch away. I'm gonna I'm gonna make my exact profile, and then I'm just gonna add a half an inch. Just you know, kind of wing it. This is just a practice piece here. It might work. Just might work. Well, it's a lot easier just to do it this way. Just bolt that down. Might have to put one here. We'll see how this works. That'll just be another hole I have to drill. Minor. It's steel, so it should hold it. Feels pretty good. Okay, we'll go get a hammer. I'll start tapping this around and see if it works.
I may have to rest. So, it's worked out really, really well. Like that's, a, that's a really, really nice uh, radius here. Now, if we, this is, I'm just, just going to half an inch. If you want to go more than that, you'd have to have a little thicker piece of metal here. But I think I could probably tune those up when I take this apart and just put it on the edge and then flatten that out. It looks pretty good. Do a little bit more. I wonder if my dolly would work. I'll give it that a try. going to work out great. So on the door panel, oh yeah, see that looks good. And then basically, you know, you're just going to, you'll body work anything that, you know, if there's a line, but you just cut whatever you need. You'll probably end up trimming this off because, you know, I probably do that a little different. It looks good. I think that's going to work. So, on the door, there's this inside and then there's another one. I don't know. Goes the other way. Maybe up here. Like that. I'm not sure. All I know is we built the panel and it started to rain outside. But I'm going to take you out there and I'm going to show you a, uh, a door and I'll show you what, what this piece is for. Okay, now I said it was the door, it's not. It's inside. So this piece is gonna go like this. Just like that. So it needs to be trimmed, of course. And I'm not that much of a magic man that I can just, you know, make something and have it just so it just fits right in there. I'm not like, you know, some of those other people on TV. So I got this going up, so you, you know, you'd have to just trim this where you want it. It ends right here. So we just trim that. So then the other radius is for this one right here. But I'm going to make the little brother do that. So this was a success story. And uh, I proved my brother wrong. I said, no, you can build that panel. So now I'm gonna make him do the other side. I'm not gonna do that. He can do that. Gotta learn somewhere. But you know, this is something that, uh, you know, it's pretty rare that, you know, we have to do something like this, but it's getting harder and harder to buy panels. So now you've gotta get a little bit more creative. Now, of course, this is bigger than what I need. Of course, you need to trim it all off, but, you got that 90, you got the profile, that's all you need. I'm really happy with that. So now, this is for one side of the door, or inner door, or inner jam. And then you have to do the opposite side for the other side. 
because the profile is slightly, slightly different. So if you're doing that, make sure you, uh, you're aware of it. Now, this is a piece of half inch plywood, or half inch steel. You can use plywood. It'll work just the same. It might not last as long, but it will work as well. I've seen guys use uh, MDF, and you know, you bolt it down, and tap it down, and it works just the same way. I don't know how long they last, but anyway. Uh, he already had this already profiled out, and I, would, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't hesitate about uh, using wood. In fact, someday, I know that I've used a piece of plywood before, and it's worked. But, you know, the MDF would be nice because it's easy to shape that, and if you wanted a rounded edge, you could just run a router around it, and then you get the nice profile. Uh, so there's lots of ways of doing that. So, don't be afraid. If you can't buy that panel, you can do this just like that. And my arm's still sore, but it's worth it. So, until next time, stay tuned. There you have it. Pillar has all been uh, repaired. Those patches worked out really, really good. And we didn't have to buy anything. <laughs>